It's time for the New Beginnings feature where I travel across the county meeting inspirational people who have started something new. So what happens when you have larger than average feet, can't find any shoes that make you feel good? This is the dilemma faced by Laura Schofield and rather than feeling down about it, she decided to make her very own and the brand Otto and Ivy was born. I popped down to the Lizard to hear her story. I have always lived kind of on the border of London and Surrey and I married a Cornishman um, many years ago who basically for the last 16 years has whinged every single day that he wants to be back in Cornwall. <laughs> I've basically kept the poor guy hostage. Um, and I'd always sort of thought, oh, well, the work that I need to do, because I was working in television, I was thinking, oh, I need to be in London, and all my friends and everyone that I'd grown up with was in London. And this year, we just decided, no, actually, let's try and make a go of things. And we have basically gone as far as we can possibly go <laughs> to the Lizard. <laughs> So after years of saying, oh, I don't know if I'm quite ready, I've, yeah, baptism of fire, I've thrown myself in the <laughs> literally end. The yeah. furthest point. And how are yeah. the kids getting on? Are they getting on all right? The kids are loving it. So we've moved down with our two children and I think kids are so resilient anyway. So they, it's funny, we walk through the village now and my um, eldest Matilda is just saying hello to everyone. She knows That's everyone amazing. in the village. Um, and they, yeah, they're four and seven, so we've kind of moved down at quite a nice time for them. Arthur's just starting school, but it's been really good for me actually having kids that go to the school because it's very sociable. I've met loads of the parents. There's a pub opposite the school, which very is very convenient. So a bit too convenient. <laughs> That's the only issue. Um, but yeah, everyone's just been so friendly, and that community feel that I know gets you know a word that gets bandied about quite a lot about Cornwall but I never really realized how true that is until I came down here that everyone just looks out for each other yeah. and each other's businesses and each other's lives and that support is is so wonderful I think especially now after we're all sort of locked away for Completely. 18 months coming out being somewhere new and actually everybody embracing you metaphorically yeah. it's probably making it a little bit easier Yes, it's been, it's been so touching, actually, because I was a bit nervous about coming down. And I know my husband's from Cornwall, but I, you know, felt like a little bit of an outsider and I was a bit worried about that. But I, everyone's just been so friendly and I've got to know people so well. So, yeah, I, I, I feel really lucky, actually. Now, you're not just, you haven't just sort of moved down and sort of thought, well, you know, what am I going to do when I get here? You actually have your very own shoe brand, which is in the very early stages. Yeah. Yeah, it is it kind of early. So it launched, um, it's called Otto and Ivy, and it's a shoe brand for tall women. So women who've got big feet, so size 8 to 12, um, I'm at the moment. And I launched it in January last year, in 2020. And... Um, I was actually working in television at the same time, but it's kind of just taken over my life. <laughs> so I ended up leaving my TV job and and working on this full time. So I've got um, a warehouse now in Tiverton. Um, and I, yeah, that's it's, it's a passion project, but it is now my my work, my business. Wait, but you say it so casually, Laura. <laughs> I mean, the fact that you started it in 2020 when this thing called COVID... Oh, best time to start it, a business, but, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, great time to start. So this, yeah. how, has that made you at times go, oh, I don't know whether I kind of want to carry on with this, or has it made you even more determined? How are you doing in It's lockdown? a little bit of both. It depends what day you ask me on. And right. I think most people who have their own business would say something similar, really. It's incredibly challenging, but the feedback that I get makes it worthwhile. And I have some customers, I've got a customer in Australia who's bought 25 pairs. I've got a lot of customers who've bought over 10 pairs of shoes. It sells worldwide now. Um, and that is, is wonderful to have those repeat customers and to see the feedback. So I think a lot of people kind of trivialize fashion and they'd say, oh, well, shoes, you know, how important is it? You know, you can always wear men's trainers or there's, you know, there's the odd, frumpy black flat that you could probably wear but actually if you think that you've got an interview to go to or you've got a presentation to give or you are going on a first date and you want to give the very best impression that you can perform at your very best you want shoes that you feel comfortable in that are stylish that work with your outfit as well and that just hasn't been an option for so many years for so many women 
and that was what was so important to me. It wasn't, I mean, I, I do love shoes and I've always salivated as I've been looking through the window of shoe shops, wishing that they'd fit me. But for me, it is about so much more than the shoes. It's about kind of the shoes being an afterthought and being able to get on with your life, really. So that's Laura Schofield talking about her very own shoe brand, which she launched called Otto and Ivy. And we'll hear more from Laura a little bit later on in this hour. This is back now to our New Beginnings feature. So I popped down to the Lizard to chat to Laura Schofield about her new shoe brand for women with larger than average feet called Otto and Ivy. And she went on to tell me about how it felt to be really quite tall growing up. It makes you feel like a bit of an outsider as you're growing up, I think, being tall. I mean, some people are very lucky and they have loved it from an early age and they've embraced it from an early age. But I wasn't always in love with my height. I found that I really struggled. I found it difficult dating because all the boys were shorter than me. I found even, you know, having conversations at a party with people, I couldn't hear stuff because they were so much lower to the ground than I was. Um, And I found dressing particularly difficult because I love fashion and I, you know, would love to be able to wear anything that I want to wear. And that is is really tricky to, to do when you're, I'm six foot one and I've got size nine feet. Um, so yeah, I think it can it can really impact people's self esteem. And I've actually spoken to um, some people before who've been really their mental health has been really impacted by it. I spoke to a mental health nurse who said she she talked to two women who attributed their suicidality to the fact that they were tall and the comments that they would get about it constantly and people saying, gosh, you're tall, aren't you tall? We're talking about body positivity so much on the internet at the moment, which is brilliant. We're talking about it from a weight perspective quite a lot. We're talking um, about it in terms of, you know, accepting differences, but I don't think we're quite there with the height thing at the moment. And I think a lot of tall women are seen as fair game, they can, you know, be walking down the road and have three people say to them, oh, God, you're tall, aren't you? How tall are you? And it feels very relentless. And so I think when you feel different and it, it's lovely to feel like you're part of a, a gang and you've got these shoes that you can wear and shoes that you can love and shoes that you can treasure and shoes that you'd actually buy even if size was no object because I think that's the problem is a lot of tall women just make do you know their shoes are just things they've had to just go okay that is in my size I'll go for it whereas I really wanted shoe shopping to be a nice experience again I mean I'm just gutted that I can't get those (laughs) shoes because they're amazing and I do understand that's that's one of my favorite kinds of feedback does that make me a bit evil well it does a little bit I'm (laughs) like can you not just make me a pair of these shoes but no that's not what it's about about. and you do have a celebrity fan so somebody that is wearing your shoes that um lots of people may well know yeah this you're talking about Caitlyn Jenner right I am yeah so this happened um a couple of weeks into launching the business actually which was just madness and it felt like an out-of-body experience basically before I launched the business I'd written a list of women that I wanted to wear my shoes so tall women women with with large size feet and but thought nothing of it because I had people on there like you know Caitlyn Jenner I think Michelle Obama even made the cut she's still you know might. She's, she's still, still might, might. definitely so it was very pie in the sky very ridiculous and uh, but I wrote it down I put it on my notice board and then uh, a couple of weeks later a friend of mine Gary um, that I'd worked with at a TV channel said to me oh I am doing the sound on one of Caitlyn Jenner's um, she's doing a show a theatre show would you like me to get a pair of shoes to her? <gasps> How did you feel? I know. It's like, like that. That's ridiculous. This weird connection with a, a Kardashian that I never thought I could see coming ever. Um, and then on the day, I actually managed to meet her in her dressing room. And it was so weird because I was walking down to her dressing room and it felt like I was completely out of control of the situation. It just felt... I'd written this down, but it felt like it was almost something I'd manifested. And I can't explain it. I've never had that feeling so strongly before. And I was really worried that she was going to not fit the shoes. But then I thought, of course she's going to fit the shoes. Because how ridiculous is this situation? I'm here. There must be a reason for it. And the shoes fitted. And she had that Cinderella moment. And she went, oh my goodness. And she said, it's so difficult to get shoes to fit. And um, a friend of mine videoed it and that ended up getting picked up by the Daily Mail. And then that led to kind of various radio interviews and things like that. So that was, yeah, second week of business. It was just complete madness. And and I think you were saying earlier about it it can be challenging for, for people starting a business. But 
that you have to cling on to those moments and think, I'm definitely doing the right thing. If stuff like that's happening, it doesn't matter how challenging it is, I'm doing the right thing. How inspiring is Laura Schofield? Otto and Ivy is the brand and she created it basically growing up she felt just like she said like an outsider because she was taller than her friends and sort of stood over everybody and now you know she's created this brand being worn by Caitlyn Jenner and being worn all over the world 